In this video, I will show you how to add Google Analytics to WordPress in just a few clicks. I will show you how to use the Site Kit by Google WordPress plugin, which is the best method on how to set up Google Analytics on WordPress. With the Site Kit by Google WordPress plugin method, you can also connect in addition to Google Analytics, you can connect your Google Search Console, your Google Page Speed Insight, Google AdSense and Google Tag Manager. So it's by a mile the best way on how to install Google Analytics on WordPress. So what if you don't want to use any plugin to connect Google Analytics to your WordPress website? I will also show you the second method without using the SiteKit plugin, which is also very fast and easy for anyone to do in less than three minutes. Very short, easy guide, but very full. You will not need to watch any other video. And by the way, if you want me to help you set up your WordPress SEO so that you can start getting organic traffic and rank very high on Google search, then send me a mail using the email address in the video description. So if you have a website and you want to connect to Google AdSense so you can start collecting data for your website, then let's get quickly to it. So the first thing to do here is to log into your WordPress website. Go to the plugin section, hover your mouse on the plugin tab and click add new. Go to the plugin search bar here and type in site kit. Now this is the site kit by Google plugin that we're looking for. So go ahead and click install. Once the installation is complete, click activate. And once the activation process is complete, you will be automatically redirected to this page. Come here and click Start Setup. I'm just going to tick these two boxes here. Then click the Sign in with Google button here. If you have more than one Gmail account, identify the account that you want to use for your setup. Here I have only one Gmail account on my browser, so I'll go ahead and click it. I will select all the boxes here. And then scroll down and click continue. Okay. We have four steps to quickly complete here. The first, have Google verify your website ownership. Click verify. Turn on metrics in your dashboard. Allow. Set up. Next. Okay, as you can see, this is a brand new Google Analytics account. So I'll go ahead and make sure that all the data here are correct. They should always be. And then I will click create account. Now, if you already have an analytics account created in the past, in this case, you won't see this option. Stay on because I will also show you what to do. So once again here, choose your preferred Gmail account. And again, select all. Scroll down and click continue and wait a little while. Okay, once you get here, come here and select your country of residence. You should read the terms and conditions here and then tick this box. Scroll down and click I accept. What's happening? Okay, I will click this box again. I thought I did already.
Okay, congrats! Your analytics account is now successfully created. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see here, our Google Sidekit login is now working. But of course, we have to wait before we begin to see any form of data. But just come over to settings here and let's see what we have done. As you can see, all of our Search Console, Google Analytics and PageSpeed Insight are now active on our WordPress website. So you can also use this plugin here to connect our AdSense and Google Tag Manager. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So stay on. So what if you already have an existing analytics account? Then this is what you will see in your own case. So all you have to do here is just to select your existing account or create a new one. So I'll select an existing account. Configure analytics. Proceed. Select my Gmail account. Continue. And wait a bit. As you can see, your new website has now been added to your existing analytics account. So again, go to settings here and you can see that our three Google assets have been connected also. So let's click the connect more services here. And as you can see here, once you're sure that your website is ready for AdSense, you can come here and connect your website for AdSense approval. And here you can also connect your Google Tag Manager. I'll be showing you all of these tutorials in subsequent videos. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert notification so you get to see when I release them. Please, I will also love that you help me like this video right now. Thank you for doing that for me. So let's just check up on our new analytics dashboard to see what it looks like. So I will open a new browser and type in analytics.google.com. Save. So here is my new analytics property. That is the website that we just added. And soon, my dashboard will also start collecting data from this point. Now, what if you want to know how to add Google Analytics to WordPress without using any plugin? Then watch this video right here on your screen as I show you exactly how to do that. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.